All right, thanks for coming back. I'm just gonna show you uh, my little setup here. So I built a little fence with chicken wire. It's around these uh, three coyotes that I procured. Um, so this is kind of the more disgusting part of making things out of bones. So I need to, they've been sitting here for probably six to eight months. So I'm gonna go through and uh, try to separate the bones. I really wanna to try to articulate an entire skeleton of one, but I don't know if I will, cause they really are just kind of in a big glob. So I'll do my best to try to separate them, but. So um, yeah, I'm gonna separate them, clean them, and I'll come to the next part when I pick the next video up. Thanks, bye. So I just wanted to show you this. This is super gross. I don't know what, uh, I guess that's just the, what the insides turned into like a, almost looks like wet wood. But a lot of it's pretty, like the legs, I actually was able to find a bunch, even the nails, which is awesome. Um, you can see a skull over there. There's three of them total, so it's gonna be a lot of bones. All right, so this is the haul I got. And I also have this bag here. Those ones are a little dirtier, so I really gotta scrub those. So, what I'm gonna do now with these is use a little OxyClean and just put some elbow grease to them. Um, the paws right here, I'm gonna be really gentle with. I don't wanna lose, there's so many small bones. You can see them here the nails and everything so those I gotta be are gonna be really delicate um, because I'd like to have an idea for a craft I'm gonna make with a with the paws but this one the skull is pretty damaged still kind of looks kind of cool um, but so yeah I just have my oxyclean and then I'll have plain water and some brushes and I'm just gonna scrub them up so this one is just an absolutely beautiful skull there's no damage to it um, still has some hair in on it but really good this stuff looks kind of gross but it really doesn't hardly even I mean it smells a little bit but these ones smell a little worse so those will get a good scrubbing and then after I clean them where's my bags I have some mesh bags that I can put everything in so I can kind of I tried to keep the the animals together as much as I could um, but it was kind of a big just pile of hair that I was digging from so still I didn't get much of the vertebrae I'd still had to be uh, cleaned a little bit more by the beetles. Alright, so let's start putting some of this stuff in the bath. So I'll start with this guy. And his head. All right, well, I'll put the phone down. I think everybody knows how to scrub, so let me show you that. All right, so I got this one done. Actually pretty clean now. They're just stained in the dirt. So I'm gonna actually try something I've never really done. I'm just gonna put, uh, soak them in OxyClean for a couple days and see how much they lighten up because I kind of like the color of this so I kind of think I'm just gonna leave one of them this color because it looks kind of like they were stained so let's try that pretty dirty I did wear gloves to do this because that's pretty gross but see I'm gonna 
Put some water in there. And then we'll see how this does in a couple days. Back for round two with the coyotes. This is a couple of the other. I just combine them so I can uh, clean them. And then after I clean them, I'll show you what I'm going to do with them. All right, so I'm going to show you now why after you clean something like this. That's our, you definitely want to put it through a strainer. Because you're going to lose little bones. Especially teeth. All right, so. It's kind of like mining for gold. Okay, so I'll put the hose in there just real lightly. And this will kind of uncover everything. If you can do that, you can get those little beetles out of there. They're just a, it's basically just the shell of those beetles. And I've lost a tooth and a vertebrae kneecap. All right, so that was all at the bottom. So what I'm going to do now is pick through those, get all the hair out so I don't put that in. Then I'm going to do a little test and I'm going to try soaking this one in Don dish soap, which is what I usually use. So I'll show you how I do that in a second. Okay, so. Got my water here. I'm just going to add some dish soap. I do a lot of dish soap. I have read that some people prefer to use clear Dawn. Um, I've never had any problems using blue. So what I do, because a lot of little bones obviously are in these animals. Teeth, uh, especially the bones from the paws everything are tiny and you get lost so what i do use this mesh bag here i don't know if you can see if i got everything in there but so just a mesh bag and you cinch it up so nothing comes out and then i put that inside the water oops sorry so i'll add a little bit more water to that uh let it sit for a few days and then it's really nice when you take it out you don't have to have a strainer or anything you can just take it out hose off the bag and dump i just dump everything out on the tabletop let it dry and then kind of pick through it from there uh, the hardest part with claws like the actual fingernails is that the fingernail shell will come off the actual bone so you just glue that back on. I just use Gorilla wood glue for everything with bones. It dries nice and clear for the most part. It holds really well. So, all right, we'll let this soak for a few days and see how it looks compared to this one, which is the OxyClean. All right, bye.